This is our video documentation for our Don't Cuddle Me Connect game. First we had to import certain libraries that allowed us to use certain software that ran alongside the processing sketch. They include the audio library, a full screen library, as well as the OS CP5 library and video libraries that call up Synapse and the webcam. We then declared these libraries as variables. We declared our ints for any numeric variable and our floats for any coordinate variable, as well as a P font to display the font and a boolean to refer to our button. In our setup window, we define the parameters of the page, such as the size, the text and the camera. We then create a new object based on our variables. We also start the camera and play music in this section of the code. In our void draw function, we organised our object orientation. We simply needed to put a switch statement because all of our other visual elements are placed inside our different states. Then we made a void send data for the synapse code so that the data was being sent from the user to the code. The data from synapse joint positions are given variable names of left hand, right hand and torso. We defined the coordinates for these joint positions so that we could then refer elements to them in our sketch. We created a class for our monsters, we declared our variables including easing and a speed. In our constructor we defined our x and y positions. We added a switch statement so we randomly generated our four characters found in the data file. We then defined the get x and get y coordinates as being off our screen by implementing a while loop that loops until it finds the value outside of our screen size. Then it was a matter of working out the physics to move our monsters away from the hands. This is done by following the easing example that makes an ellipsis follow the x and y coordinate. However, we modified it by reversing the maths so they are repelled from x and y and by stating that x and y are left hand x and left hand y and right hand x and right hand y. We also added the speed variable and a score count so when this function is met a score is generated. We also used this easing example to move the monsters towards the torso, however we changed it so it follows the tx and ty position instead of the mouse position. It was then a matter of drawing the monster's shape and applying the health statement so when the monsters make contact with the torso, the health decreased by one and after it is run out, it moves to the next state. We have the same array list as before for our monsters so that they are all grouped together as one object, which can then be easily implemented elsewhere in our code. Our button object is a boolean so that the function of it works with left hand x and y as well as right hand x and y. This is so that it will be applied to all of the buttons. A similar boolean was applied for the monsters and the torso, so collision could be applied that would affect the health. We then set out what our different states were going to look like. We draw the camera, the overlaying images that we created in Illustrator, the ellipses for the hand, and the button that works as an if statement. So if your hand is over it, it comes back as true, and if not, it will return as false. To the buttons, we have added a delay time to them, and an if statement which moves the user to the next state at more of a delay time rather than instantly. This structure is the same for all four states with a few alterations. For example, there is a timestamp added to the start state, so when it changes to the game state, a timer is initialized. On the game state, the timer is drawn as well as the health, and similar to how the health is, when the timer hits zero, it moves to the next state. Also on this state, we add the amount of monsters, as well as make the monster array run. Finally on our end state, we display the score and we set a parameter so that the score, time and health gets reset when you replay the game. We have created a fully functional connect game that just by changing the design could be used for educational purposes with young children, or it could just be a fun interactive connect game.